How would you like business to come to you, for clients to be begging to work with you? Well, that is the essence of a pull strategy. It's what I'm gonna teach you how to do in this video. I remember when I was in business school and they taught us about the distinction between push marketing and pull marketing. Push marketing is the kind of marketing that generally gets annoying. It's when somebody basically pushes their marketing message on you and you maybe just because they're pushing it, start to feel a little bit of resistance. Now, push marketing works a lot of times because sometimes people need to hear and see something multiple times before they'll take action. But in my opinion, it's nowhere near as effective as the opposite. Pull marketing, a pull strategy in marketing, is where you create something so exciting and so compelling that people come to it. There are three things that work really, really well for a pull marketing strategy that I'm gonna share with you. The first thing is what I like to call the bait. It's what do you create and cultivate and put your energy into that's gonna be the thing that calls to people and brings them in. In the world of thought leadership marketing and personal branding, which is the space that I operate in, these are your ideas. This is you publishing, broadcasting, speaking, and getting your ideas out in front of the people who need to hear them, the people that you're trying to attract. Now I have many videos on this topic, so I invite you to go check out what is thought leadership marketing, where I go deeper into that topic. The second element of a great pull strategy is authenticity. It's connecting through your identity, through your personality. It's about sharing stories and sharing truth with people rather than pretending to be somebody we're not. And by the way, a brand doesn't have to be a person to have a personality. Think about the brand Mini Cooper, right? The Mini Cooper brand, there's no human that represents that brand, but you just know that that brand is authentic and fun and playful and fast. So if we can humanize a brand and give it a personality and personify it, that becomes a more attractive brand and helps to pull people to that brand. The final thing that really attracts people to a brand is that you have valuable offerings, that you solve a problem, that you connect with something that people really need. Now, a lot of times that looks like connecting with the thing that they already know they need, and sometimes it looks like creating a need that they don't even know they have. Now, one of my best friends and mentors, Dustin Matthews, is an expert in creating irresistible offers. So if you wanna dive deeper into that, go ahead and check out my podcast with Dustin Matthews. If you wanna create a brand for yourself that pulls people in, then go ahead and check out my free resource that I created for you. It's called Googleicious, and it's how to own your name online in one single afternoon. It's five simple steps that you can use to become more attractive and more irresistible online.